Hey guys, it's Bulk Western again. Today I'm gonna read you this great book, Dutch Adventure, series created by Roger Kunt and Alex Richer, Oxford Reading Tree. Dad went to the supermarket. He took Biff and Chip. He wanted them to help. You can choose some cereal, said Dad. Do you want cornflakes? Can we get some crunch buds? asked Biff. All right, said Dad, just for a treat. They went to the cheese counter. A lady was selling special cheese. This is Dutch cheese, said the lady. It is called Edam. It is made in the Netherlands. The lady let them taste some Edam cheese. I like it, said Chip. There was a special offer. Buy two cheeses and you get a free baseball cap, said the lady. Dad bought two cheeses and gave the cap to Chip. That's not fair, said Biff. So in the end, Dad bought four cheeses. Dad took the shopping to the car. There was a lot to carry. Dad put the cheese on the top of the car. Oh no! He forgot all about them and drove off with the cheeses on the roof. Why are people waving at us? asked Biff. A dog ran into the road. Dad stopped suddenly. The cheeses slid off the roof. They fell onto the road and rolled down the hill. Help! said Dad. He ran after the cheeses. It's Chase the Cheese, laughed Biff. Poor old dad, said Chip. Two of the cheeses were run, run over by a lorry. They were squashed flat. One was badly damaged. Only one was all right. Dad pulled a face. What a shame, he said. You sound cheesed off, laughed Biff. It's not funny, said Dad. At home, Biff and Chip went to Biff's room. They wanted to play some music. Suddenly, the key glowed. It's time for an adventure, said Biff. I hope it's not an adventure about cheese, said Chip. The magic took them back in time. It took them to the Netherlands. They were on a high bank called a dike. On one side, the land was very flat. On the other side was the sea. The dike kept the sea away from the land. Chip looked around. Looked around. There are windmills everywhere, he said. I think we're in the Netherlands. The land is very flat, said Biff. But I can't see any houses. Come on, said Chip. Let's try to find a village. They began to walk. The hor a horse and cart came along. A boy was driving it. On the back of it were some large round cheeses. How far is the nearest village? asked Biff. It's quite a long way, said Boy. Jump up on the cart. I'll give you a lift. My name is Hans, said the boy. I'm taking these cheeses to market. I'm Biff, said Biff, and this is Chip. What funny names, said Hans. The horse began to trot. The cheeses began to bump around in the back of the cart. This cart looks a bit old. Shoot, said Chip. Should you go so fast? No, said Hans. But I'm late for market. I have to sell all these cheeses. They went past a man on a bicycle. Slow down, called Biff. At that moment, a wheel came off the cart. Oh, help! Shouted Biff. The cheeses slid off and rolled around the man on the bicycle. Look out! Shouted the man. He fell off his bike, and his cheese bounced out of his basket.
The man jumped and up and down with rage. Look at my bike, she shouted. And where's my cheese? Which one of these cheeses is mine? Hans looked at all the cheeses on the ground. What does it matter? She said. They're all the same. Take any one. The man picked up the cheese. He looked at each one. I must find my cheese, he shouted. At last, he found it. This one is mine, he said. Hans looked at the broken cart. I'll never get these cheeses to market now, he groaned. Let's carry them, said Chip. We'll help you. Hans put the cheese in in some sacks. Biff and Chip helped him carry them. The sacks were heavy, and it was hard work. The road was very long and straight. It ran along the top of top of the dike. The sea was just below the road. Phew! This sack is heavy," said Biff. Suddenly, they heard someone shouting. It was a girl. They ran to see what was wrong. Water was spouting through the dike. The girl was trying to stop it. Help! She shouted. The girl held her hands over the leak, but water was still pouring through. My name is Trudy, she said. We must stop the water. If the hole gets bigger, the dike will burst. If that happens, there will be a terrible flood, said Hans. The hole was getting bigger and bigger. The water began to pour through even faster. They couldn't stop it with their hands. Biff had an idea. Push the trees into the hole," she said. "They have wax round them. They might keep back the water." Chip pulled the sacks down the bank, and they pushed the trees into the hole. "We need one more," said Trudy. Just then, the man went past. "Help us, please!" yelled Hans. "The dike is leaking." "No, I'm in a hurry." Said the man. They filled the hole as well as they could. Water still came through in places. Well, I'll have to go and get help," said Trudy. "But why wouldn't that man man help us?" Chip went with Trudy. Biff and Hans stayed to try and stop the leak getting worse. Trudy and Chip. Ran to a windmill. I hope there's. I hope someone is there who can help us," said Trudy. Near the windmill, they saw the man's bike. It was leaning against a fence. That's odd," said Chip. "I thought that man was in a hurry." Trudy and Chip looked through the window. The man was inside. He had a knife. He was cutting the cheese in half. Why is he doing that? Said Chip. It looks like he doesn't want anyone to see him. Inside the cheese were some diamonds. I'm so clever," <laughs> laughed the man. "No one will find out that I stole the diamonds. The cheese was a clever place to hide them." He's a thief," whispered Chip. "We must do something." Trudy and Chip. Ran to find Trudy's father. They told him about the leaking dike. We filled up with filled it up with cheeses," said Trudy. "Whose idea was that?" asked Trudy's father. Then Chip told him about the man who had stolen diamonds hidden in the cheese. Trudy's father called the villagers, and they ran to the windmill. The mayor was with them. The thief was still inside the windmill. He was still looking at the diamonds. Those diamonds belong to my wife," said the mayor. "You stole them from my house." The villagers tied the thief to the windmill. "Help!" he shouted. "Let me down!" "That will teach him," said Trudy. "He wouldn't help us." "Well, he can stay there until we fix the dike," said the mayor. The villagers mended the dike. Hans helped, and so did Biff and Chip. Phew! This adventure is hard work," said Biff. 
The cheeses were heavy, but the sand is even heavier. I don't want to see another cheese, said Chip. Hans looked worried. There will be no money this week, he said. My cart is broken. Now I have no cheeses to sell. Never mind, said Trudy. You helped save the dike. And we caught a thief, thief said Chip. Everyone went to the village. Thank you, said the mayor's wife. I got my diamonds back. There, here is a reward. Three cheers for Trudy and Hans and their friends, said the mayor. They stopped the bad flood. Using cheeses was a brilliant idea. The magic key began to glow. It was time for Biff and Chip to go. Hans bought two cheeses from the market. He gave them to Biff and Chip. They gave Hans and Trudy their baseball caps. Goodbye, they said. Dun, dun. The magic took Chip, Biff, and Chip home. Dad came into Biff's bedroom. Where are your free baseball caps? He asked. Er, um, uh, we've lost them, said Biff. Dad was cross. He's cheesed off again, said Chip. Dun, dun. Dutch adventure. The magic key takes Biff and Chip to Holland. They help stop a dam bursting and catch a diamond thief. All thanks to some Dutch cheese. Thanks for coming guys. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and leave a like for everyone to see.